So what do you call yourself? Welcome. Welcome to the Los Angeles Show. Hey. Hey, what can I do for you this fine day? This is your destiny. Hot, hot, hot. Right now. Welcome to the Los Angeles Show. Kick it. Come on in and enjoy yourself. Right now. We gon' party like no one else. gentlemen here with me today, Drexel Perkins, the visionaire, yeah, yeah, and of yeah. course we have Solomon Bell, the communications leader that has told me no over and over and over again, but he had to communicate in order to get it done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then here with us today, on behalf of Kingdom Fitness Recreation, how y'all doing? Oh, that's great. How about yourself? I'm fine. I'm holding on. <laughs> Don't lie, right? Like today I got up, I said, we're going to make this a great day. And now I'm hanging out with two of the world's greatest, so you got to speak it into existence. True. And True. that's where we are. But I have questions that need answers. So y'all ready? I'm ready. All right. Now listen, I'm going to start off with you. Okay. In the hot seat, we're talking about it. Kingdom Fitness Recreation. I know that you have worked with families. You are educating. You are encouraging. You are empowering these families to do something different. Tell me a little bit about the vision of Kingdom Fitness Recreation. Yeah, so... Um... Kingdom Fitness Recreation is uh, is a branch off of Kingdom Fitness. Uh, since 2010, um, I always had the desire in college, came to me in college, where uh, to help a lot of people when it comes down to health and wellness. Yeah, which um, is important. Right. And so in being a big time believer, first of all, uh, the Bible speaks about how people die for lack of knowledge. Yeah. And that could just uh, not only be physically, but spiritual death as well. But in the realm of physical, uh, I've seen that on many charts, a lot of African Americans are dying because are in the top three for uh, any health and wellness, any disease sickness, this, that, and the other. Yeah, like being the best of being the worst. Right. And all odds are working against us, including the things that we make conscious decisions of. True, you know? true. And so with that, I was like, okay, how can we get everybody uh, moving and doing a lot more things? Uh, when it Because not everybody's going to set foot in the gym. Right, that's just, right. <laughs> that's just the truth. But uh, people love activity, um, and family is a major thing. And here in the South, you know how we are about our sports. Win, lose, and different. We have our teams. We will right. show up even if it's showing up for the tailgate. So <laughs> right. if, if that's what we're going to do, if we're bringing the families out while the babies are playing, well, maybe now we can encourage the families to tailgate and make healthier recipes and oh, healthier they. choices. Right? So I know that you're working to get the message clear. Mm -hmm. And as the communications leader, what are some of the things that you really have to focus on as you're encouraging families to be a part of what you're doing? Um, really just being more aware of what we're, we're taking in, what we're, what we're eating. Um, of That's course, deep. we want them to be very active or, or active nonetheless, but we want them more so to understand that it's about what we put in our body um, from the table. It starts at the table. You'll see a lot of change within yourself mentally, uh, spiritually, and, and, and physically, of course, when we start at the table. Right. Um, and that's just really where the message starts. And, you know, a lot of us, we find excuses instead of putting in the work to get the results that we really need. Right. Um, and, and it's hard because it, oh, man, it, even when you talk about self, right? Mm -hmm. I, I ask myself this all the time. Did you get your steps in today? Mental, physical, spiritual, what does that look like? Did you get your steps in today? And every right. day, it may look like a different set of steps I need. Some okay. days I might need that puncher bag. Some days I might need the broccoli versus the ribs. Some mm -hmm. days, you know, but did you journal? Did you write it out? Did you declutter? Um, and when you're talking about the household and you're hearing this conversation stem from the fathers, from the mm -hmm. men in the house, now mm -hmm. the message is a little different than mom fussing at the kids about right. not having that sugary cereal. Um, when you feel as if you're not getting what you need in the conversation from your fellas, how do you bring it to them to where you're educating, you're being that big brother, but you're not being that holier than thou correction? Right. Um, so the best way we do it, uh, I see 
the best way to do it is um, just give them understanding behind it all. Um, knowing that, I mean, what as it was presented to me, um, knowing that I have to fuel my body properly in order to do the things that I love to do. So we okay. all love to do something. Right. We love to wear something. We love to want to go uh, live a long life, this, that, and the other. And that is fine. Mm-hmm. But uh, the rubber meets the road when it comes down to fueling the body properly. So I always, uh, what came to me was always knowing that uh, I can't put, you know, water in the, my car in order to get to where I need to get to. I got to put the right fuel in it. Same thing goes with the body. And so uh, just giving them the understanding that, you know, everybody wants to find their edge or niche in some form or fashion. So if I could do that by eating and, uh, and fueling my body properly, then, you know, how better would it be for me competition-wise or just in life in general? Yeah. And so. Focusing on a better quality of life. That's it. Right. Um, and, and, and babies, they're like little sponges. <laughs> so if we teach them earlier, they will be our accountability partners. Right. You know, I, I had dinner last night with my little nephew, and he looked at me like, mm, they got a lot of cheese in it. And I'm looking at him like, mind your business. Yeah, cool. But I, I had to put it back Shout because he, nephew. yeah, nephew just <laughs> heard me say the things that I was leaving behind and I'll do better. And he didn't say, I'm going to let you do better tomorrow. Wow. I, was, I see you now. What's, what's up? Right. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. But to know that he's making better decisions and he's looking out for others around him that holds us accountable and make us want to do better. Yeah. Um, to be able to get up, go play with your kids, to be a part of their activities, or to even care enough to see what they're consuming. That's because it. all of that, when we start talking about behavioral health issues, a lot of that stuff is stemming from the table. <laughs> Exactly that. That's the truth. Working with these kids, do you ever get any of the the kickback, or what are some of the biggest hurdles that you've had <laughs> so far working with the kids? Um, so we see a lot. Well, I uh, in the sports environment, you know, you always got concession stands. Oh man, come right? on. Come on. Uh, <laughs> so one thing for me is uh, was not to be a hypocrite with anything that I do. Now it ain't gonna make somebody only have things that people are not going to eat. Like, I know you're going to want your hot dog at some form or any time, but... Um, you serving only rice cakes at concessions. <laughs> you're right, 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 right. No, um, no. but what, <laughs> what we love to... Uh, a lot of kids, you know, they, they want what they want, but mm-hmm. if we can give them better or healthier options, uh, that's what we try to uh, give at our events uh, when we host them. Like, yeah, you're going to have your nachos and cheese, However, you're going to also have more options of Nutri-Grain bars, yeah. body armor, water uh, to choose from because of the fact that um, you have to understand that how this all goes hand in hand. And I don't feel like I'm doing you or your parents a service uh, rightfully um, if I am saying, all right, I can make you a better athlete, but I'm going to feed you trash. Right. I'm not, you know, it's uh, so. Um, and when they get the understanding of it all and then the liking, to it, like, oh, that's really not as bad as you know, I thought it was, or see, then, you know, I feel like that's uh, when we have done our part. But that is a road or a hurdle to cross because, you know, they, in their households, or uh, and eating how they desire to eat or whatever's yeah. on the table for the most part. But uh, it's something that needs to change because uh, we all desire health. Um, and if you can handle, uh, yourself or as food is its own medicine, it is. uh, if you can handle yourself early on, then why not? You know, like, uh, I take life as a beautiful gift. Mm-hmm. So, you know, um, you gotta live it fully inside and out. And your food can either be that medicine or that poison. Sheesh. So you gotta pick and choose your poisons. Right. Reading the back of those ingredients, knowing what the content is really telling us, how often do you encourage the kids to at least join that conversation? Uh, very often. Uh, everybody that we encounter, um, we all we give them an eating guide um, to them for them to go home and read upon uh, for the parents to give them a little insight. And we, you know, not forcing nothing on nobody. However. Yeah. Uh, we are trying to inform everybody, and so when they uh, when they know how to do things properly, properly, 
and they see it or it's around them more often, we hope that they will be more inclined to choose better. Um, so uh, we, we, we stress it a lot. <laughs> we yeah. stress it a lot. You all mentioned something earlier when you said some people may not want to step foot inside of a gym, but that does not stop you from going outside and say, let's go play. Right. All right. So when we're talking about Kingdom Fitness Recreation, for the family that's listening right now, they have no idea what Kingdom Fitness Recreation is all about. They've never stepped foot in the gym. A dumbbell may scare them off. A jump rope may not be their best friend. Um, but they want to take that first step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Give me some of those tips that a family can do together that will make a small step to make a bigger difference. Yeah. Uh, well, something that I do with my family um is we just go out to the park mm -hmm. um you know uh, you don't have to be throwing a ball or a frisbee or anything but just going out to the park and parking uh walking for about 30 minutes um if you have a pet it makes it more enjoyable <laughs> or more of a work did you hear um, that kids who just said ask mom and dad for a pet right right that's right that's, that's what Christmas. i heard that's, that's what i heard so, did you hear that oh, that's all i heard that's all i heard yeah. i need it all now. right <laughs> <laughs> But going out, um, and it could be uh, outside, just um, in your own backyard, and uh, just being active, yeah. uh, uh, doing something together. Be it, I am, I always love just being creative, and so um, just make up a game or doing something that you know you can do as a family, um, with or through activity. Um, that's where it started for me. Yeah. Um, and that's where I grew up seeing. And uh, we just built Kingdom Fitness Recreation off of sheer imagination um, and making it an environment for everybody. That's good. Yep. That's real good. What are some of the steps that you would encourage them to do? Um, He's the active dad. Yeah, so... Um, uh -huh. I, I, four kids, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, there's never a dumb moment. One life, no. You know? Glory. We live in a time to me <laughs> yeah. where... If you don't post it, you haven't done it. Right? No, man, come um, on now. So, and my kids are, for some reason, as as other kids, they really want to be the like subscribe and follow type of kid. They want. Uh -huh. So for me, I I videotape my kids being active, and for some reason, that's a trigger for them. That's something that they love because uh, they feel as though daddy's recording it. Somebody else is going to see it. Let me do my best. Um, yeah. So I I don't know. I the biggest thing is to demonstrate. We can educate all day. But um, to demonstrate, get out and do it, um, to let them see you doing it, it allows them to see how easy it is. I mean, like, you see anybody doing something, you know that it's, it's easily or it's attainable or it's it's doable for you if, if you're yeah. staying close, right? And I like that, the demonstration portion, you know, because, I mean, we have peer pressure on any and everything else. <laughs> when we sit down, we take pictures of our food. Come on. If the burger Jeez. is four feet tall and cheese is oozing. So, yeah, it's okay to post when you're doing a jumping jack and say, hey, today I suck at this, but tomorrow, and let us see your progression in that. Show Sorry. us on the days you don't feel like doing this because that's transparency. And until people get out of that bubble and we stop living these filtered lies, I mean, lives, Come on um, now. you know, it's like, <laughs> we're just not going to see us getting better. Right. So sometimes, yeah, that camera makes you get better. It, account it has accountability oh, to that accountability. camera. It's crazy. If we allow that crazy, perspective yeah. to be more of our uh, premise is, okay, I'm going to post this simply because I want somebody in the comments to say, hey, hey you didn't work out today. You know, I'm here to tell that. you, no, that's me. Come on, Did man. you get your steps in today, mental, physical, spiritual? Wow. If you don't see me post it, call me out on it, because chances are, if I ain't posted, it, it didn't happen. Wow, chances man. are, if you see me at the McDonald's, tell me, Tim, what you doing here? And, and I'm, I'm letting you hold me accountable, because yeah. now you know what my weakness is. You know where I'm at. You know what I'm, I'm not supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah. And if you ain't nobody, mind your business. <laughs> mind your, go to your corner where it's time. I get his boy a cell phone and let him play with that at the dinner That's table. He on. shouldn't be talking to me at this dinner table. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. nah, I'm mad at a kid who's holding me accountable. And I'm like, I can't throw a temper tantrum. I can do guys order my broccoli double steak Come on. with no cheese, please, and thank That's you. It. <laughs> See, the beautiful thing, too, though, is, you know, we get the kids out, um, which is, yep. which is, it's a struggle sometimes being that this technology thing is doing what it's doing. Yeah. Um, but we make it do whatever it does. That's it. We use that. Yeah. Very, so we give it the power that it has. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But see, when we when we allow our kids or implement our kids in going outside, that accountability that they are so ignorant about, they just automatically have. It, yeah. it, then we, we realize our family is out there because mm. daddy's out here. Why well, mama not out here, right? So it um the kids do bring an accountability there that that, that holds everybody. Yep. Um, yeah. 
I loved it. Yeah. And I know that Kingdom Fitness Recreation is not just for the capital city. It's for surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. You all have so many events coming up. Tell me all about it. And then I'm going to have to give them the website so they can follow right. it and join the movement oh, yeah. and be a part of it. Because, man, y'all are forever busy, but you're right. stepping in the right direction. Yeah. I'm with it. <laughs> so, uh, Kingdom Fitness Recreation, um, we have something for everybody year long. Uh, no excuses. No excuses. There's nothing with We only get two seasons in Louisiana anyway. <laughs> right, right. I, And holler. So what you right. going to do? Come on. Unless today is winter. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Just today. Woke and, up, it's uh, like 30 degrees. And springs was started. 87 by noon. Like, right. okay. <laughs> right. But um, we have flag football. Um, that's like our baby sport. Um, okay. So that's in uh, basically January through July. Um, we have volleyball. Um, they, we do that in the springtime. We don't have a set month in the springtime, but we do it in the springtime. And um, also in the fall, probably around October, um, we do kickball. And I, there, October, you, there, there you go. Right. I'm coming for some kickball uh, action. So we come from Black Friday. Black Friday, Black Friday Black Friday that. I'm here. Um, that is one roster spot that is right. filled. Sure. Filled. We, and I'm bringing my people with me. So okay. what's up? Right. Like it. Now, right. I got to tell you, though, I have to keep the ball far out so that way they don't make me run back. See, there's a strategy in all this. <laughs> strategy. I'm making my own rules as we go. Is that, is is that there how you're going to run here? We'll, we'll see. The big red ball balls. Gotcha. Okay. Like, do we'll, you still play with those? Yeah, yeah, definitely. The, the kind that you used to play dodgeball they, with, too? Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. See, these kids don't know nothing about that. They, they don't. They don't, they they don't, don't know. At all. And that's what we brought. <laughs> Uh, we bring a lot back into understanding for a lot of kids that uh, have never participated, like playing dodgeball yeah. or um, things that, um, like we play pinball at high school. Basically, it's like dodgeball and with pins, so you can get people out um, through knocking the, all the pins down, or you can oh. get them out by playing or hitting somebody and knocking everybody out. So. <laughs> Uh, remix uh, it. Right. Like it. Um, we have aspirations to start uh, Ultimate Frisbee, which wasn't a thing for me, but I went to FCA camp, and Ultimate Frisbee is a explain dope game. So a explain. It's like football. Uh, Wait, how? Football, like hockey, and basketball all mixed and soccer so there's a frisbee of course and you're on a hundred yard excuse me hundred yard football field okay uh probably you throw the frisbee or there's i, I guess there's a designated tosser thrower mm -hmm. and they throw it to their receiver well that receiver catches the ball and the maximum amount of steps that that person catching excuse me catching the frisbee can take two steps now I catch, I catch the frisbee 10 yards from where the person passed it my other teammate may be running Toward the end zone because I took my two steps. I now pa I'm frozen. <laughs> I pass it to him as he's in motion. Okay. If, uh, as he progresses, and he stops, only gets two steps. Only two steps. It's okay. a non-stop movement. Yeah. Um, in that game, and so it is very active, very fun. But a lot of people in the South for sure is not a. We, we don't know. We don't know anything about it. No, so, that's that's first for me. Yeah. That's so. You can write that one down for sports. attendance also. We'll see you there. Yeah, yeah right. absolutely. But I'm going to need three steps. I'm going to need three. <laughs> I'm going to need three because I'm going to be running so fast when I catch it. Oh, that makes the sense. The first step kind of helps me brace step. myself. <laughs> That's what it is. Da, da, da. So we give it a little time. That, right, right. right. Wow. We'll take it. <laughs> My extreme frisbee. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Extreme. I'm right. here for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bet. Uh, we do uh, basketball. Okay. Uh, okay. Well. Wait, wait. Look, wait. Okay. Wait. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, Sue. That's okay. Don't do it. I'm just looking for some competition. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you. Did you see that? I did. You saw that? You saw looking at the wrist? We'll talk about it. Okay, got it. Now, see, if I went out there and won against him with that very shot, he would never be able to step foot on that court again. No, I wouldn't say anything. Well, you know what? I'm encouraging all of the families to come out with us because this is going to be amazing. And in between time, get out to a park, go get your practice up. Um, if they want any tips on nutrition or if somebody's listening and they would like to sponsor some of these events, um, how do we contact you for all of the above? Yes, you can uh, contact us at kingdomfitness10 at gmail.com. That's kingdomfitness, the number 10 at gmail.com. Or you can just hit my line at 225. 227-5635. You know, my pants stop writing. Say it again, but this time slow. It's 225-227-5635.
make it happen. You know what, Drexler, you the real MVP. Solomon, and so are you. Don't you dare let them tell you differently. But we got more work to do. I need to go practice my little study step. Yeah. Oh, um, extreme on. fitness. I gotta go get my little alley hoo together. Wow. And um, <laughs> um, I like the hoo. Well, yeah. You see, and we might even need us like a uh, um a hopscotch situation going. Mm. Bring you back going? some hopscotch. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'll I'm participate. here for it. Will you? I'll participate. Okay. All right. Good. And a uh, hula hoop ball for for the kids out there, because I don't even see kids playing with hula hoops wow. anymore. Right. That's the truth. You know what right. I mean? That's true. I'm looking forward to seeing that yo-yo one. That used to be a thing thing. Right, right, right. That little uh, skip pops. I ordered right. one of those the other day. I love it. That has got to be like my number one favorite. And I say toy because I don't want to call it a workout, but yeah. it is a workout. Right. It is. A, it kicks me back every time. Wow. <laughs> but accountability. We will practice it today because I have to be a part of this kingdom fitness recreation, and I am coming back with all the trophies. Come on. Oh, well, wow, well pro- probably with the trash talking and crowd participation on. Yeah, 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 we have those. But a win is a win. Who gonna a make a trophy? <laughs> All these made up trophies. It's made out of cardboard, but a win is a win. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I want you to chase the sun or let the sun chase you. But either way, get after it. I love you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Painless. And he over there yelling no the whole time. Bro, can I tell you something? Painless.